Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, back at it again with another review of the amazing set 75046 Republic Coruscant gunship. That is police gunship to be precise. And this set is obviously of the Star Wars line. It's from the Clone Wars and it came back back in 2014 for $50. And I actually paid 30 for it used. Um, they're usually going for 135 used, which is crazy. Um, that obviously includes figures. I already have the figures. And I know a lot of people wanted me to review this in one of my latest uh, in one of my latest unboxing videos. Now, um, this was also a Toys R Us exclusive, which is crazy. Um, RIP Toys R Us. And it was in the US only, which I find, again, pretty interesting. Now, I have a lot of mixed emotions on the set, and before we get into that, please remember to subscribe and click that bell, do all the other buttons, and let's get right on into it. Now, first, we are going to address my personal favorite figure of the series. It is the Republic Shock Trooper, or uh, a course on guard, or 65th Legion. There's like two billion names, so I'm going to call them the Shock Troopers because that's easier. They come with the old Clone Wars head, obviously. They came with a regular looking blaster. Um, nothing crazy, but I really love these guys. Um, you'd notice they have the 2013 type print for the legs and uh, torso. Uh, the legs are very unique compared to like the others, like the 501st Trooper, especially because of these lines and like all the red markings. Uh, pretty plain back. I also love the helmet with all the like, little striped markings. You get two of these boys, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, let's move into the next most desirable figure of this set. It is Ahsoka Tano. Now, she comes with two lightsabers, obviously. Um, we take those off. And here is Ahsoka. I've had this figure for a long time, actually. Um, she comes with a nice little torso print, which wraps around pretty well. You'd see that, with the, like, especially with that little uh, pink skirt thing. You have the nice brown things. You could, uh, the brown vest and whatever, you could take that off, and you see it kind of connects with the arms. She's a very angry face. Again, not a huge fan of the Clone Wars faces. And then you just turn that around, and you get a very... Happy, but wide-eyed Ahsoka. Um, she also has some pretty back printing. That is pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, that is the legendary Ahsoka Tana with her uh, specially molded head tails. Finally, you have the creepiest figure of all time. It is Anakin Mick Skywalker. Now, this is a creepy Anakin Skywalker. I hate this rendition. I don't know if there's the exact torso print because I don't know if this is the exact figure. There's so many of them. So I'm just going to guess that it is. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, Anakin. He has a scar on his eye. That, 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 that's pretty cool. Uh, he has legs. He has a lightsaber. It, it's Anakin. I mean, there's not much more to say about him. Uh, but yeah, let's get right on into the set, which I know you've all been waiting for. And let me just start off by saying I was kind of disappointed. It is a lot smaller than you would think. Um, if you look, it is about the size of my hand or so. Not too big. It is literally the size of my hand. Uh, but there are also some neat features. Um, so first, I think, obviously, I want to address this is the worst. This little black thing right here, it's the worst. It's terrible. And there goes the spring-loaded shooter. It's shot across the room. Basically, what happens when you lift this up is... Um, you get a little, uh, this little thing. I don't know what they're supposed to do. Maybe they're supposed to guide it so that way you can, you know, fall or whatever. And, yeah, that's the other problem. Uh, but in terms of that, that's just a terrible feature. It's built in horribly. It's loose. It's not very good. But um, when you do that, obviously, there's this little foot pedaling, which I find very interesting. So if you want to have someone come out in our next feature, you just have them, you know, open the door. And then there's almost like a little, like, stepping, like, area that you have, like, with really tall cars. So I found that pretty interesting. Um, the interior, um, which we, we, we can move to right now, um, it's very small. It, it's very hard to get figs into. Um, you, once you do, if you, if you really want to pack tight, um, you can. You can try at least. Let me try. I was actually able to fit all four of them in the cargo hold, which is insane. And you, if you really want to squeeze it, you'd probably fit a fifth. That's not creepy at all. Look at Anakin's eyes. That's just scary. You need to fit them all in perfectly. Um, that was a very tight fist. I had to open them up and like kind of twirl both my fingers in there to figure it out and push them down. And yeah, it's, 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 I wouldn't recommend this. If you want a Republic gunship type feel, but you don't want to spend the money like a Republic gunship, um, you're not going to get it with this. That's for sure. If you want like just some sort of transport, maybe the new ITS transport is for you if you don't care what era it's from. 
back to the front, we have ball turrets that do like a near 360. It's just they're cut off by this. So if you take this up, then they can basically do a C360 in air. Both of them can do that. And here is the interesting feature. Now, basically, you take this feature, and this is actually kind of, I believe this happens in the show, um, where you could do this, and then it will basically line up and let rest comfortably there. It, it's going to be comfortable there. Now, on the interior, we'll move back down. I think it is uh, less detailed than I would have personally liked. I think the way they capture it could have been better, especially you can't see in the back row. Usually it's like the character is right up here, like we see this in uh, Captain Rex when he and Anakin go to find fives, which I will address in a bit. Um, now, I, I, I just want to say that this set, if it came out at the right time, I believe the fives arc came out in 2016. Don't quote me on that. I believe it came out around then. But if it came out then, then this would have been the absolute perfect set to include fives in. Um, but yeah, you'd barely see both of them in there. Um, can't, can't even see the one. You might. Uh, yeah, you see him here. And then you here. It's, it's very hard to see the other guy. There they are. That's very cool and very, very dark. Um, it actually looks really a, a lot further away in there than they are. You see, you'd open it right up and, you know, they're right there. And then it looks like they're 2 million miles away. That's probably because this adds at least a solid, like, maybe inch or two um, to the top, which is crazy. Uh, but yeah, you have this little uh, Republic symbol, which is pretty cool. You also have these things. I have no idea what their function is in the universe, but it, it, it's weird. Um, obviously, you have the little doors that move up and down. You have more stickers. I honestly think this was a missed opportunity for a sliding glass door. And um, there's this build, which I think is very unstable. I don't like it. You have this little uh, turret uh, pistol at the back. I don't know. You're going to have to like really maneuver to use that well. Um, not sure what this is. It, I'm not sure if that's just detailing or if that's supposed to be something. Uh, in, in terms of this, this is, I think, one of the most interesting things I didn't know about. Uh, but th with this area right here, there is this little probe droid. This is the one, I believe, that was looking for Ahsoka and Fives when they both went hey, uh, awry. Uh, but yeah, you just unplug him, and then he just goes out and, you know, searches for them, which I think is pretty cool. I, I like that a lot. I, I, I think that's a really neat feature, and I, I give Lego the credits. Um, now you close that, and you're going to move it around to the other side, which can also open up as well as this one. You'll see him here. There's a little clip. Um, you could use that if you want to take your brick arms blaster and, you know, just, you know, have it poked in there. Boom. Works. That's a really long blaster, so... If you want to do that, feel free. That's there for that. I don't think you could do... It might be able to do lightsabers. Let me test. We're going to do a, a Hackersmith thing. Yeah, it doesn't do lightsabers. It, it doesn't. It, it doesn't do lightsabers. Um, but yeah, that, that that is overall my review for the Republic Coruscant gunship. Now, I do have some problems with this set, if I'm being honest. Uh, that being, you know, that the figure selection, they should have included a fifth figure. Whether that be another shock trooper, or a pilot, or something along those lines. I just feel like something was missing. For a $50 set in 2014, it should have at least had five figures. That would just make sense to me. It feels like, a, it's like battle pack selection. Like, you have four figures. Like, I don't, I, four figures just doesn't seem kosher for this type of a set. You either do, like, three, um, or you do five. That, that just feels like a code thing to me. Lego usually doesn't do $50 sets too much. Um, they, they still like do with the helmets, like they'll go on sale or whatever. But yeah, the stickers, they're a little too big and they're a little too much. Um, you got them here, here, here. It basically, they rely on them for most of the exterior, which they shouldn't be, um, which is a given. And yeah, in terms of the structural stability, it is not there. It is, and it is just not, it, it is a loosey-goosey set. It is, I was underwhelmed. It, it just doesn't, it, just, it feels bulky and clunky. I mean, it, again, it was in 2014. There were really good sets from this time. Um, I, I am disappointed in LEGO. I thought they would have done better. Maybe it's because it's an exclusive, and since it wasn't going to be widely released, they didn't really put effort in. But I don't know. i just not feeling this set. It's just, it, it just feels kind of, like, clunky to me. I, maybe that's just me. If anyone else has this set and feels the same, please let me know. But with that said, I really hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Republic Coruscant Police Gunship. Please remember to like, subscribe, or I will steal all your shock troopers, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, and stay awesome.
Thank you.